Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD. Uh, today I'm just going to be showing you how to draw a light bulb in SolidWorks. Another basic simple tutorial. So I'm starting off with a blank part file that I've opened and then I'm going to go to sketch on the front plane. Now I'm going to draw a light bulb sketch and um, I'm going to jump ahead, explain the sketch that I've done and then I will uh, give you a chance to pause the video and sketch it up for yourself. So this is the sketch I've just drawn up. Um, I started with a 30 radius circle coincident with the top and the center point is on the center line as well. Then I've made a 50 radius circle here and then I've made it tangent with this shape at the bottom. So I put a tangent relation here and a tangent relation here and then trim them. So just to give you an idea of what I did there, just quickly. So, so I made, I drew this 103 line first, drew two circles, one that was coincident with the top and the center line, and then one here that was coincident, uh, not coincident, sorry, um, tangent and tangent, so uh tangent relation and a tangent relation and then I got the trimming tool and trimmed and trimmed to get those two curves in the straight line and then I drew this little it's kind of hard to see because of the dims I know uh, I'll highlight it for you so you can see I also drew this base for the for the screw cap. So just eight mil, forty five degrees, kick up here, and then one mil straight line, and then a four mil radius into a straight line, which is this in total is fifteen mil. And then I've made sure I've drawn a line separating the glass part of the bulb and the and the uh, screw part of the bulb. So let's double click that. So I'll zoom in a little bit if you want to pause your video now just to sketch this bit up. So if I let you pause that and that all your dims are there. And then moving on to the full sketch. It's 103 height in total from the origin and then the two circles why I explained at the start as well. So I'll just leave that up. And if you want to pause the video and just finish off the light bulb sketch. Right, the next stage is to exit this sketch. And I've drawn, so now you've got two solid profiles. One for the glass and one for the screw cap at the bottom. So if I go to revolve, click the axes. And then I click this profile here and tick it. So the first thing I'm going to do is ho hollow it out. So I'm going to go up to shell, which is there, and shell it out five mil. Let's take that. So you get it shelled out there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a thread on here. So I've just typed thread into the into the command bar click on type thread but if you wanted to find it on the menu it's in insert features thread if you wanted to find it that way as well so it's asking me for the thread location so if you click the top of the cylinder there and then it's asking me I put the type in as an M30. I've also changed the end condition to 20 mil. So the thread goes down past the feature for the screw cap. But I'm also going to off tick here and offset it. Oops, sorry, that's wrong. Offset it five mil there. So now it's going to put a thread 
on the whole of it and it's going to be a smooth transition into the thread because um, it goes past each endpoint. So we'll tick that. So now you've got your thread for your bulb. The next stage is I'm going to go back to my revolve, go to the sketch again, and we we'll click this little eye icon here to show it. Then I'm going to click, so I don't have to draw this out again, I'm going to click revolve again. Click the sketch but this time I'm going to select this so now I've got I'm not going to merge the result so untick that so now I'm going to have two solid bodies separate on their own in the same sketch file so we'll tick that so now I can actually get rid of this the screw part because if you look I've got solid bodies there folder that's appeared so I can name that rename that If it'll let me. So just click on the click on the actual text and put um, screw cap. A bulb. So now I can change. So now I've got my bulb in two different bodies. I can change this to be more transparent so if you go to body display change transparent so now it's transparent sorry I did that a bit quick there if you go to bulb you can change it to transparency so now you have a very simple way of modeling a bulb in SolidWorks I hope you found this tutorial helpful uh, please follow my channel if you did um, if you've got any questions, leave it in the comments and thanks for watching.